we made it you guys it is day seven of the seven meals and seven days using only trader joe's products it is kind of sad that this is the last video in the series but i think that all in all it has gone extraordinarily well i'm so happy with all the recipes that i've made everything turned out better than i could have planned for i'm so happy to hear all the feedback from you guys and hearing how much you love the recipes and you love this little mini series. So don't worry, I will be having more cooking videos and things like that. Um, it's just really hard to do every day when you have a toddler, when I have a job, my husband works full time obviously. So, you know, I am gonna try to make as much as I can happen with these videos, but guys, your subscribing and your thumbs ups to my videos are really helpful. If you guys are watching these and you're not subscribed, please do because it really does allow me to get more time in the future to do more videos and maybe one day even do like an everyday vlog. So anyways, moving on to the seventh recipe in this series. Guys, I dressed up for this. It is the last video in the series and I was like, let's just have like a party vibe. So I'm just glammed out and I've always been a little extra. I'm even wearing high heels and sparkly shoes because if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I'm all about the glamour, the glitz, the sparkle. My closet has glitter in it. So, you know, I've just always been a little extra when it comes to glitter. <laughs> So anyways, let's go ahead and get the party started and I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients as usual and tell you guys what we're making. So here are the ingredients. We have some extra virgin olive oil, some yellow onion, frozen peas, one lemon, salt and pepper, farfalle pasta, and sorry if I totally butchered that, uh, Parmesan cheese, Cream fresh, oh my gosh, this stuff is so good, and panko breadcrumbs. Tonight I'm going to be making a farfalle creme fraiche lemon zest pasta. So, I mean, there's a name for this. I got this recipe on the Trader Joe's website again, um, and I'm going to be following this one to a T because it looks so good, and that's the reason I wanted to kind of finish this out is because this looks like a very rich, decadent meal, and it just... You know, you guys better dress up for this kind of meal because it's fancy. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started by first boiling some water and putting the bow tie pasta. Let's just make it easy for myself. Bow tie pasta into the water and start with all the other ingredients as we go. All right, guys, so I just put some water in a pot and I put a little salt, kosher salt in there. And it's on medium, getting ready to boil for the pasta. While the water is boiling, I'm gonna get started on the panko breadcrumbs. So I'm just gonna do a half cup of panko breadcrumbs and two tablespoons of the olive oil in a saucepan over medium. And you're just gonna let them sit for about five minutes until they get kind of toasted and browned. Alright guys, so I just coated all the breadcrumbs evenly with the olive oil, so make sure you're really getting a good coat on all of the breadcrumbs. And then every so often during the five minutes, you're just going to kind of move the pan around and toss it so that they're all evenly toasted. And then once that's done, I'm going to be pouring them into a small bowl and setting them to the side. So in the recipe, it calls for half a bag of the pre-diced onions that we sell. I actually have a fresh onion that I'm going to use. It's really easy for me to just dice it up real quick. If you guys want to buy the pre-chopped onion, by all means, that's what the recipe says. So I'm using this much onion, if you guys can see. I just finished chopping the onions and I came over to check on the breadcrumbs. In the description, it says to toss the breadcrumbs up like with the pan. Um, no. <laughs> Sorry guys, I am not that professional and really what would happen is the breadcrumbs would fly all over my kitchen. Keeping it real with you guys, I uh, just use this handy dandy tool and just kind of move them around like this. So these are done. I'm going to put them in a bowl. The next step is going to be adding two tablespoons of olive oil, 
into the same pan. And then you're also going to add the onions that you just chopped to the olive oil mixture and you're going to brown for seven minutes. So while those are cooking for about seven minutes, I am going to move over to the water and I'm adding the pasta to the water right now. So we're going to let the pasta cook for about four minutes to start and then we're going to add half a bag of the frozen peas and let it cook for another three to four minutes. My onions are done and I'm going to go ahead and add the creme fraiche. So we're doing an entire container of the creme fraiche. Yummy. And I am going to add an entire lemon and some zest of the lemon as well. Just a small tip guys, zest your lemon before you cut it because it's so much harder to zest it once you cut it. For those of you that don't know what lemon zest is, um, I'm sure most of you do, but it's basically just the outside of the lemon. You just kind of move it along. You don't want to do the white part because that will get really bitter. So that brings me to say if you guys are making this recipe, make sure you wash your lemon really good because you're going to be using the skin. And I recommend organic just because of the pesticides that could be getting into your food. So I'm actually going to drain the pasta right now and then we're going to add the creme fraiche to the pasta and it's starting to smell really good in here. Now that I've combined the sauce with the pasta, you're going to turn the heat to high. You're going to make sure that all the pasta is coated evenly with the sauce and you want it to thicken up so you're going to leave it on the heat for about two minutes and then um, we're going to add the parmesan. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. The last step is to add half a cup of parmesan. This is off the heat, by the way, guys, so just make sure you don't have the heat on when you're mixing these ingredients. The breadcrumbs that I toasted earlier, I am using as a garnish on top of this dish, and I can't wait to try it. You guys don't want to make this. It's not very good. I'm just kidding. It's really good. It has so much lemon flavor from the lemon that it's really creamy, but that lemon gives it such a fresh, citrusy taste. The peas add just a pop of flavor, and it actually really brightens the meal up too. So this was really good, and it's perfect for like a date night or if you're having guests come over, throw in some garlic bread, and you're good to go. I wanted to thank you guys so much for taking this journey with me and embracing this little mini series idea that I had. I'm so glad that you guys all loved it so much and I cannot wait to start doing more videos like this. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave in the comments below. I do plan on doing um, a review video on all these meals that I made and I'm kind of going to rate them from my favorite to my least favorite. Um, that, now that I have time to sit down and actually like compare them. So if you guys want to see that review video, let me know if you're interested in that as well. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I will see you guys in my next video.